Okay. In my little series of things that I'm doing to the house, one of the things that I'm going to do is I am going to add an entire whole house surge system to the house. Now, I'm filming this by myself, which is really kind of wrong because I should have somebody to help me. The whole surge house protector is basically a device that I'm putting into the power panel, the main input power panel. It's an EDCO unit. It's a two-phase unit, and it'll basically protect the whole house. As you can see, Florida Power and Light kind of forgot to give me one, but they gave me their little rinky-dink little job that's up on the power pole. Step number one, turn the power to the house off. This is a 150 amp breaker. This kills everything, including my air conditioner, so everybody inside the house is now screaming. Step two, Move the little screw and a little handy advice, which I'll show you over here. I always use the trash can as a toolbox and I turn the lid upside down so now I have a place to store my stuff and nothing's going to get lost. Next, we're going to take the panel off. And I've turned the breaker off, so just basically to let you know is if you touch anything above the breaker, you're going to die. You touch anything below the breaker, it's now dead because the breaker is off. Okay? First thing I see is I've got these wonderful little Allen screws in here. And let me give you a close-up of what I got. Right there. That's where we're going to be plugging in our surge suppression. And I'm going to leave this as a close-up here. First thing I'm gonna do is take a picture of it. Kinda sucks when you're working by yourself. Edco made it easy for me by giving me a nice little knockout kit that's built into the surge suppression. Now I always carry a little brush with me because when you open up these panels after years and years of being shut down, you're going to have bugs, snake eggs, looks like a lizard's head, I got a frog's head over there. Now I'm anal, so what I'll do is I'll just do this for now and then later on I'll clean it up all the way. Pick a nice little spot where you'd like to mount your surge suppressor preferably out of the way. There's cables over here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it right there. Take my handy dandy screwdriver and my hammer and pop the, pop the knockout out. Just give it a little tap. One side, then the other. And out she comes. Take my surge suppression, and of course it's locked down tight under the ground. Loosen her up here by removing the nut. Now I am in Florida, so it's like about 150 degrees, which is a setting in your oven, so I'm sweating pretty badly. The sweat's getting in my eyes, I'm getting ready to cry like a baby. Run your wires through. That's where she's going to sit. Take and run your nut through the wires. I'll get it down there. And screwing her on. Handy dandy pliers. And tighten her up. There you go. The unit is upside down right now, but that's not going to worry me. Let's make a nice little picture here. Next step is, you've got four wires. Two black, a white, and a neutral. This is one phase, the other phase, your neutral, and your ground. I just said neutral when I held this green wire up, so forgive me. Okay. It's basically going to go just like this. Black here, black to black, hot, hot. Your neutral, if you look and see where the white wires are going to, 
in this particular case, they're all going to the same bus, the ground bus. Here's my white, and here's my ground. Next up, find an Allen wrench that will fit. And away we go. You're good to go. Now I'm just going to get in here and loosen her up. Do one at a time. Nice and loose. Pair of strippers. Take your first black wire and align it up. And just strip back the copper wire. Stick that in with my little grease that's in there. And I like to put it off to the side. I don't like to put it right up in the center of the conductor simply because when I tighten it down, it's going to crush it. So it's off to the side. No copper is showing when I tighten it back up. Once it's tight, make sure it's not going to go anywhere, and we are good to go on that one. Same thing with the second one. Loosen up the screw. Off to the side and tighten it up. There we go. Half the battle is won. Next, we take our white wire. Last but not least, our ground wire, which I'm going to bring up underneath and go right into the bus bar there. That one's a little bit different. It's looking for a screw, so I take my handy dandy screwdriver. And behold, we have our nice little surge suppression in place. Take a 
picture. And the next step is to make sure everything works, flipping the power on. I've got my two lights, L1, L2. That's telling me that it's properly connected, and I'm done. Take a close look here. Now my house is fully protected. That's step one of my surge protection project.